मोक्ष संन्यास योग वर्स नंबर 54 ओवी नंबर 1101 वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट टुडे सो व्हाट डिड वी सी द वर्स सेड ब्रह्म भूत प्रसन्नात्मा न शोचति न कांक्षति यम समस्सर्वेशु भूतेशु मद्भक्तिम लभते पराम ब्रह्म भूत प्रसन्नात्मा सच पर्सन Who is this person? Who is Brahma Bhut? Who is uh, uh, Prasanna Atma? So because he is Brahma Bhut, Bhut me, he is the, the total. He is the infinite. He is there is nothing else apart from him. That is his direct experience without a thought. And such a person alone is truly happy. Prasanna Atma, because we see such people moving around in their bodies. Uh, you may be saying, "Oh, she is angry, or he is angry, or uh, like our Akal Kot Maharaj." <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> But uh, yeah, yeah, he is like butter inside. It's only the our Lila is going on. So Brahma Bhuta Prasanna Atma Na Shochati Na Kangshati, and he does not uh, desire anything, and he does not worry. So this is very important that. Until unless we haven't had the, not had, cultivated, vairagya towards the world. Till then, abidance in Brahman in the absolute reality is not possible. We have to completely delete the world out of our mind. Only once you have to do. <laughs> it doesn't allow. <laughs> and whenever you try to do it it take the, the mind takes you to sleep tricks you and then wakes you up again into the same world so we want to go we want to delete the mind meaning the duality the projection the phenomena completely only for once because in that one moment you will come to know yourself there will be no doubt उसके बाद जो वॉट एवर द ड्रामा इज टू गो ऑन दैट विल कीप गोइंग ऑन बट वॉट विल बी द ड्रामा सच अ पर्सन विल नॉट वरी अबाउट एनीथिंग इन दिस वर्ल्ड एंड दिस पर्सन बिकॉज द बॉडी इज स्टिल देर एंड दिस पर्सन विल नॉट डिजायर एनीथिंग इन दिस वर्ल्ड वाई वाई ही विल नॉट डिजायर एंड वाई ही विल ही नॉट वरी डजेंट ही हैज डजेंट ही हैव अ पेन इन द बॉडी डजेंट ही हैव डिजीज डजेंट ही हैव हंगर डजेंट ही हैव यू नो Uh, doesn't he feel cold doesn't he feel hot what is his disposition his disposition is brahma bhut he is his experience, direct experience uh, his, uh, the word for that um, is it in this word or in the next verse hmm not here because he is this abidance in the self is called as gnana nishtha he has attained the knowledge and this attainment is not objective this attained gnana nishtha nishtha means complete abidance 
complete conviction conviction is again at intellect level but he has come to know the 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 source of knowledge is the self and he is abiding in that self without thinking then alone penultimate step what will be the penultimate step samadhi nirvikalpa samadhi and what is that complete absorption so why did samadhi take place and why when our mind was uh, we were uh, withdrawing from everything why didn't we have brahma brahm experience of brahman why did we go into samadhi <laughs> question you never asked that question <laughs> think so why why do you go to sleep why do you go into samadhi why can't you realize instead of going to samadhi because the say because it's so that i have to go to samadhi yeah. maybe no maybe you didn't even think of going to samadhi you are thinking of aham brahmasmi or or whatever mm -hmm. then why did you not abide in the self but instead went into nirvikalpa samadhi because you were putting the last thought that that was the itself <sighs> yeah but that thought will go away only then samadhi will begin yeah. samadhi will not begin so if the thought is there it is called savikalpa samadhi when that thought goes away it is nirvikalpa samadhi so when you are in the bed you are thinking of sleep you are not thinking of anything it is savik savikalpa samadhi so why you go into samadhi only one reason Atma, bolo. <laughs> Tell why do you go into samadhi and not abide in the self once and for all? Story over. Where the uh, where do you where is the error? The error is in objectification of reality. you are still you are you are still thinking you are not come to this point i am that you are saying aham brahmasmi you are saying i am that but complete conviction is not there still some either some uh, uh, issues of the world are there issues of some something is still holding you back at the world body breath mind all this all the equipment comes in the world only so some part of the world some aspect of the world so there is a little bit of duality left behind duality left behind you have not sorted it out completely not sorted it you can't sort it you have not surrendered yourself completely you are still holding on to the ego that i have to know <laughs> that i have to know <laughs> has to be given up kankshati means he is still desiring to realize so till you want till you want to realize when you come to that uh, act may that if the desire is still there it will lead you to nirvikalpa samadhi it will not take you to abidance so and then what is the next part he says he says samas sarveshu bhuteshu and because now his experience is that all that is is me <laughs> and without a thought i am all that there is so when nisargat maharaj says i am that because his teacher told him you are that you are that so atma the self is at the individual level the untouched principle is the self then eh, then what is the essence of the total universe ah that is called brahman that is called infinite reality that infinite reality at this body level is called as atma you understand sun and the moon <laughs> something like that but moon is still reflected light atma is not reflected light huh? so oh where, where why did i go into that example ha ah, samas sarveshu bhuteshu so when uh, nisargadat maharaj was told tatvamasi and he came to the conclusion i am that now what is that 
the entire world is that and what is his conclusion i am that means there is nothing outside outside of me everything is including inclusive in the i and we love ourselves the most <laughs> So such a person, how is he seen moving around in the world? Sama sarveshu bhuteshu. Wherever he moves around, he moves around with equanimity, not desiring anything, not worrying about anything, anything or anyone. Sama sarveshu bhuteshu. Mat bhaktim lavate param and mat bhaktim uh, and he attains to the ultimate devotion, where he. where does he get the ultimate devotion devotion what is devotion surrender unconditional love and that is what he is expressing towards the whole world from our point of view from his point of view there is no world it's all yes eyes are seeing ears are hearing he is interacting but his attention while the body is there mind will be there you cannot have a body without mind <laughs> so mahatma is also there he has a mind but that mind also i am that that breath also i am that everyone's mind everyone's breath everyone's uh, life i am that unconditional love see and all that happened why because of his love towards the infinite reality so until and unless you cannot you cannot discover the infinite reality in the world the the way to transform your vision uh, towards the world from is from inside out not outside in is inside out you have we have to discover the self here in the correct manner as a subjective direct experience see so till here we did we i told the whole verse and in the 11th 1101 ovi he says magatehi avyakta bodha vadhata jhijata पुरला बोधी समस्त बुडो नी जाय जैसी भोजना चारी क्षुधा जिरत जाय अवधारी मग तृप्ति अवसरी नहीं च होय नाना चाली चियावाढ़ी वाट होत जाय थोड़ी मग पातला ठाई बुढ़ी देऊनी निमे खाजा कृति जव जव उद्दीपे तव तव निद्राहार पे मग जागी नलिया स्वरूपे नहीं च होय हे ना आपुले पूर्णत्व भेटे जेथ चंद्रांसी वाढ़ी खुंटे तेत शुक्ल पक्षु आठे निशेषु जैसा ही से when the knowledge of self increases the ignorance goes on diminishing and finally finally merges in that knowledge the knowledge about what what was the knowledge when you go to sleep knowledge was i want to sleep is the knowledge at the mind level we are talking at the phenomenal level. i want i am sleepy i want sleep this is your knowledge so as sleep keeps as you come closer and closer to sleep to that extent your mind is renouncing the world isn't it that's your daily experience scriptures i will repeat again many times i have done scriptures are nothing but a, a mirror to what is going on in your life all the principles all the sadhanas all the contemplations you are already doing it in your life but you have to just put it in the right direction you have to change your approach towards it you have to change your uh, intentions 
and things change but all the practices you are already doing it so when i am giving you this example of sleep and uh, renouncing the world it's nothing great you are doing it every day then why does it become difficult <laughs> when we contemplate on the self why can't you desire the self as you desire the sleep and allow the mind or varo ko me wo bandhana allow the world to withdraw from the mind of its own accord why can't we do that it's happening you have the practice for whole lifetime now we are all in above 50 <laughs> you are not no Uh, <laughs> baby of the class <laughs> huh? think allow the world to go but what do we do we keep holding on to the world and we are in this conundrum i want this also and i want this also <laughs> i want the self also and i want the world also if i want the self and the world renounces uh, leaves the mind then what will happen to children what will happen to wife what will happen to husband what will happen to hunger what will happen to health what will happen to my, to to the sugar if i forget to take the tablets unnecessary thinking you will not be there to suffer man <laughs> you will not be there <laughs> so so here when he says when the knowledge of the self increases means your mind becomes focused on the self what is focus when you your mind moves from many thoughts to one thought is focus concentration is focus focus means focus doesn't mean you are thinking of the self and uh, uh, and troubled by all other thoughts of the world no 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 focus means the three stages of focus what are they dharana dhyan samadhi these are the three stages of focus intermittent focus continuous focus and then whatever you are focusing on merging into it that is samadhi you understand these are the three stages so don't say who oh, i'm not able to no you are on the first stage no but that first stage is also not taking place ah, then you have not come to the uh, the stage before that what is that eh, eh, you you don't have the desire to know the self you are still having the desire to know the world you still have an axe to grind in the world you still have jobs to complete in the world that is why you are not able to focus and we know in spite of we are so busy in the work but when hunger comes we very quickly we forget everything and we get focused on the hunger is it on the food isn't it or whatever we are sitting here if someone calls sabhi ji can you come this is happening or something something drastic or something something exciting i will not go something drastic also i will not go i am in a satsang Oh, wait but in a family person mummy i have got an i am in an accident immediately you will satsang or no satsang you will be focused on helping that now understand the mechanics of your mind now we do not desire to know the self with that intensity yet why because our mind is divided in the world and some of it wants the reality we have to increase the intensity how do you increase the intensity by repetition by repetition again and again and again and again when the knowledge of the self increases the ignorance goes on diminishing and finally merges in that knowledge 
the hunger gradually diminishes with each morsel of food eaten and ceases ceases when it is fully satisfied this is our daily experience isn't it when one marches the road to be covered gradually diminishes and when the destination is reached the distance is fully covered hmm the so you have reached your destination as you are walking so here who is walking the mind is walking the mind is aspiring the mind is desiring the self who who is there in the mind who is desiring the i thought the ego the individual who is the individual is the phenomena <laughs> he is the ghost why is he desiring the self because he wants to be the real he doesn't want to remain a ghost <laughs> what do you mean by ghost uh, the one who comes and goes is the ghost the one who appears but is not there is a ghost nobody wants to die ego also doesn't want to die no ego wants to die and it knows this body is going to die one day so he wants to come to be the continuous original one before the body dies <laughs> see <laughs> but that but if we are thinking that nay i am enjoying uh, uh, go, traveling here traveling there buying clothes buying new car buying uh, uh, you know giving lectures listening to satsang all this is good <laughs> but if this is not translating into a uh, intense desire to know the self then it is no it has got no meaning it becomes mechanical and what is all this this is only world scriptures are also part of the world only so we are addicted to the world we have to increase our addiction to the self we are all druggies no somewhere we have to be caught we have to be caught up so choose wisely and as we choose higher and higher here there is no higher and higher we are in the 18th chapter this is the ultimate and as we choose that to that extent the hunger for the world reduces as we choose the ultimate the the the, the distance between us and the world keeps increasing just like when you came from uh, where you live research from research as you sat in your car and you came so now you are very far away from the research you are close to satsang you are in satsang so similarly the mind when it is continuously thinking of the self it is far away from the world when it is thinking continuously of the sleep it is far away from the world world meaning variety world meaning multiplicity see as a person begins to wake up the sleep gets reduced by and by and ceases all together with the return of the wakeful state as a person begins to wake up everyone is in deep sleep what is there complete ignorance then when you wake up what happens i am only speaking you tell what happens when you wake up he said it but just put words to it the world appears huh the world appears right slowly slowly initially the moment you wake up eyes are still closed you know you are your experience is i am very next moment i am in my bed in a particular position or i am breathing then slowly uh, depends if you slow it down it may have or you can some people 
physically slow down because they get up at 4 5 o'clock in the morning but by the time they get out of the bed it's already 11 o'clock <laughs> 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 and others are there that uh, they wake up at 6 o'clock, the, they become awake at 6 o'clock and straight away the world enters their mind. Isn't it? So when he says here, see, it's just how you approach it, any point that is given here. So here when he says that, where are we? As a person begins to wake up, the sleep gets reduced. Some people don't want to give up the sleep. They want to keep diving back into the sleep. Today, when she came for chanting, uh, I came at 8 o'clock, made the tea and everything. And I went and looked, mom was still sleeping. Normally she gets up. But nowadays she's getting up. So she was still sleeping. And after. After the class was over, she said, why didn't you wake me up? I said, you are snoring away, why should I wake you up? Yeah. So she said, no, no, I got up at 6.30, I put the alarm off and I was about to get up and suddenly I went back to sleep. And two and a half, three hours went by. This is what happens. <laughs> From one moment to the next, you delay, you procrastinate for one moment. <laughs> Suddenly, one, two hours are gone back into the sleep, isn't it? So, now we are awake. From the sleep, we have woken up. And slowly, slowly, the distance between the waker and the sleep is increasing. And the proximity to the world is increasing. The distance, be, huh, sorry, decreasing, decreasing. Distance from the sleep is increasing and distance to the world is incre uh, decreasing. Okay. Exactly the same thing happening with us. As you keep thinking of the self, the distance from the world, which is an expression of ignorance, avidya, kama, karma, is increasing. And the distance between you and your aspiration, what is that? I want to know myself, the self. That is decreasing. Now you want to wake up to be the waker or you want to be wake, you want to wake up to be the self. Question is yours. For what do you desire? Where do you want, who you want to be? The waker or the ultimate one? So then apply yourself accordingly. After the moon remains in full phase on the full moon night, it begins to wane and then bright fortnight comes to an end. So that is the waxing and waning of the moon. Once it is full moon, after 14-15 days, again no moon, then again 15 days, full moon. And now to expect that it should remain full moon all the time. Is it possible? Is it possible to have a full moon all the time? No. Yes. Yeah, you have to go to the moon. <laughs> not here, not on earth. You have to go to the moon. <laughs> there, there also it will not be possible because it is rotating, isn't it? No, it is not possible. I stand corrected. <laughs> we had a laugh. So, to expect kankshati. Kankshati means to desire. To desire that there should be full moon every day because it is so beautiful. It is not possible. To, to expect that the mind will always be so focused and surrendered. It is not possible. A realized master also goes through waking dream deep sleep, isn't he? So who is going through? Is his mind going through the waking dream deep sleep or is the consciousness going through waking dream deep sleep? His mind. 
So that is the nature of mind. We haven't created a distance between the consciousness that I am and the mind. Yes, mind is consciousness, but that is afterwards. Right now, we think we are the mind. We have to create the distance. And the only way to create the distance is with this understanding that mind is where the phenomena is going on, where the change is, that is the nature of the mind. And consciously I take that mind and focus it on something which never changes. In that focus, in that abidance, in that continuous concentration and surrender, the mind will be illumined <laughs> by the light of consciousness once and for all. Then what will happen after that? Mind will continue to show you present the waking dream, waking world, dream world, deep sleep world. It will continue. But there is no one to own it. There is no one to say I am the waker. So waking world is taking place without the waker. Who is there instead of waker? The infinite self. The dream world is coming, but there is no dreamer. Instead of dreamer, who is there? The infinite self. So how do you, if you want to get free of the problems of being a husband and being a wife, then what do you do? Not, not divorce. Recognize that you are the conscious self. Uh, I am coming more realistic. Be the man, be the woman. If you don't forget that, if you continuously re remember that you are woman first or man first and these roles are only coming and going, then you will not take any damn thing seriously. <laughs> Isn't it? Because who is miserable? Only the fictitious entity. An imaginary husband, an imaginary father. It's only a role. It's only a phenomena. What is real in that particular equation? Man or woman is real. So similarly, when it comes to pure consciousness and the mind, what is real? The pure consciousness. What is phenomena? The mind. It doesn't matter. So just as you need to be, and once it has clicked to you, I must not forget that I am the a woman or man. You keep, you keep reminding, but I am already the man or woman, why have to remind myself? Am I stupid? No, I am not stupid. Then why do I, have, why you are saying I have to remind myself that I am a woman? Because you forget. And because you forget you are a man or a woman, therefore you allow the role to have the upper hand. So here also, we have forgotten that we are the pure consciousness, that we are the infinite consciousness and therefore we allow the mind to have the upper hand. And where mind has the upper hand, such a consciousness is called individual. When individual consciousness has the upper hand, it is called the infinite. <laughs> He's called a realized person. A simple equation. Nothing complicated about it, but apply. How to apply? Kathopanishad, the answer is coming. Here, answer has already been given. We are just recapping the whole thing. In Kathopanishad, last class, yesterday's class and the next class. That is the, uh, that is the practice, the practice of Om and what it can deliver you. It can deliver you the world as well as the infinite Brahman. So what will happen if I chant Om Namah Shivaya? Uh, you will reach Sak uh, Kailash. And what will you do there when you get there? <laughs> Freeze to death. <laughs> then instead of being enjoying the company of Lord Shiva, uh, Shiva, do you have a blanket? Do you have a duna? I did so much tapasya. And now that I have come to Kailash, you don't even have a duna. You don't have electric blanket. Okay, let me choose someone else. 
<laughs> See, this is our lot. <laughs> हंड्रेड एंड सिक्स वर्ष अभी हमने कहा तक किया था हाँ हंड्रेड एंड सिक्स सिक्स वर्ष ऐसा बोध्य जात गिड़ी तू बोधू बोधे ये मजा आन तू मिसला ते थू अबोधू गेला ते वहां कल्पांता चिये वे नदी सिंधु से पेड़ वड़े सो मोडूनी भरले जड़े आ ब्रह्म जैसे नहीं मोडूनी भरले जड़े आ ब्रह्म जैसे ना ना गेलिया घटमठ आकाश ठाके एक वट का जाड़ो नी काष्ठे काष्ठ वन ही ची हो ना तरी लेनिया से ठसे आटो नी गेलिया मुसे नाम रूप भेदे जैसे सांडिजे सोने हे ही असोचया ते स्वप्न नाही झालया मग आपण ची आपण या उजे जैसे व्हेरी नाईस हिजेस अ In the same way, now he has taken the examples how the distance between the, the distance from the world is increasing and the distance to the knowledge, which is the self, is decreasing. And the other example was of the moon, etc. In the same way, when the objects of knowledge cease. and the knower becomes merged in me along with the knowledge that all ignorance then all ignorance disappears i have already explained this here krishna bhagwan when he says he merges in me don't some people say man krishna is very egoistic fellow everywhere me 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 you my my tatam idam so my uh, what what is that uh, my avyakta murti na uh, 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 my eva sakalam jatam i i i is coming from me what is the difference between him and he's got a very expanded ego is it yeah either you make your ego <laughs> consciousness to be so expanded that it is is all inclusive or you make it zero we are hanging in between that's why we are the ghost <laughs> but here krishna bhagwan when he says when that you saran when he when he says that uh, uh, when the objects of knowledge cease objects of knowledge the world has withdrawn from your mind because you are focused we told that in the previous uh, uh, 1101 words uh, ov so the knowledge sees and the knowledge becomes merged in me so when all knowledge ceases whom do you get merged into so when he says merged in me he is not taking himself to be krishna at this particular juncture he is considering he is throughout his journey from birth till the incarnation was concluded lord krishna knew he was the parabrahma parmatma he was brahman he had no doubt about it and therefore he has taken a part in the life 110% but remained detached 120% <laughs> with everything that is the way to function in life then you are there so here he says that when he uh, becomes merged in me along with the knowledge what is the knowledge aham i am so either you say i am that or you say aham brahmasmi this is the last thought this is the knowledge at the mind level brahman is and here he is explaining afterwards what is how is brahman what is brahman 
so here maybe i can combine the next verse and then explain uh, it, uh, along with the knowledge then all ignorance disappears meaning what is your experience of ignorance where ignorance is continuous I am. I am. I am is in the mind. Yeah. So the, if there, I am is there. Then the thought is there. No. Can ignorance exist without a thought? No. Yeah. A deep sleep state, man. You have to think outside the box. You are thinking. you are applying the same rules with which you engage in the world if you keep applying and think in the same way i am the body i am the mind fir aage kuch nahi hone wala you have to think outside you have to think instead of i am the mind you have to think i am the pure consciousness i am the infinite consciousness and from that point where look at look down where is the ignorance expressing so when you said i am what was my question where does my i am appear in the mind what was my next question can can ignorance express without a thought some of you said no stand corrected wrong conclusion every day you go to sleep there is no thought and you are in utter ignorance it must go deep into our uh, understanding See? so what is he saying here ignorance also merges into the infinite so here that mind which was focused with aham brahmasmi aham brahmasmi is about to conclude when it concludes is it going to go into sleep or samadhi or is it going to go into or rediscover itself to be the infinite without a thought <laughs> see how more than this i cannot cut it up <laughs> see cut it up means i cannot isko hindi mein bolte hai baal ki khal nikalna but this is the maximum we can explain rest is up to each one of us to directly be that be that and you are always already that all you have to do is or all you have to bring about is the cessation of the mind surrender of the mind hmm I'll read this again in the same way when the objects of knowledge cease that is all the multiplicity in the mind all the thoughts in the mind cease and the knower becomes merged in me so instead of going into sleep or samadhi he is rediscovering himself as he is means i am consciousness what was my last thought i am the infinite i my conviction was i am the infinite my mind was focused with that thought i am the infinite then what will be the realization to be the infinite if your last thought is i am sleepy i want to sleep what is the realization you merge into sleep and you cannot know it you merge into sleep and you don't know it there's no knower same way you merge into the infinite and be the infinite you merge means the seeker the the one who was thinking focusing aham brahmasmi the one who was as uh, uh, it will come in kathopanishad uh, the one who was chanting om with understanding you merge and 
and the knower becomes merged in me along with the knowledge along with the knowledge of aham brahmasmi so now there is no duality there is no distance between the seeker and the sought there is no difference between the individual consciousness and infinite consciousness we have bypassed total consciousness we have bypassed total consciousness we are not into cause and effect when we are talking about individual and total it is only cause and effect in vedanta we bypass the uh, the cause because where there is cause and effect it is ad infinitum the uh, 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 yuga after yuga it will keep going on ram will keep taking birth again and again krishna will take, take or they are still taking birth in many places in many times in many in uh, in the parallel universes or whatever <laughs> fantastic ideas you may put it's continuously happening see we are not going into that in vedanta in the 18th chapter which is nothing but that the final consummation where was the totality totality was up till chapter 12 of bhagavad gita in the chapter 11 the bhagwan the lord the total the same krishna showed his total form to arjuna the virat roop he showed him the total form and from 13th chapter onward first the sankhya yoga began and then the the sankhya yoga also was shown told in the second chapter but here then kshetra kshetra and the the, the 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 consciousness the conscious principle was taken out and worked upon and everything other to the conscious principle was discarded whatever came as an obstacle whatever came to hijack that consciousness whatever attracted the consciousness what attracted the consciousness what can what hijacks the consciousness what corrupts the consciousness from from ha huh? sleep son yeah yeah sleep but uh, wake up the waking world dream world deep sleep world hmm? duality multiplicity ignorance desires thoughts all these uh, there in the chapters we are talking about objectivity keeps the consciousness localized <laughs> huh? then he understood arjun but he could move forward ah then he was told oh your consciousness is hijacked by the three gunas ah gunati to you have to go beyond the three gunas these are the three modalities the inertia the dynamism and the purity and so many different examples were taken the karta the karma the karya and uh, uh, from all the three levels and arjuna was shown through arjuna we were shown that you have to go to these positive qualities the sattvic qualities the pure qualities and from there you can jump across go beyond you can transcend but if you remain in inertia you remain in tamas or rajas or dynamism it is very difficult to because their attachment is there in sattva attachment is minimum fall is greater but attachment is minimum see then he says yeah i understood that but still it is not coming <laughs> then he was told okay there are good thoughts and bad thoughts in your mind daivi sampatti and asurik sampatti so and the truth is beyond the good and the bad the truth is beyond the good thoughts and the bad thoughts and then we came to this 18th chapter where the recap is being first the karma was taken as i told you the god principle was uh, totality principle was bypassed and now we are straight away coming to the uh, uh, moksha sanyas moksha sanyas means mok uh, sanyas sanyas means renunciation renunciation from all doing <laughs> renunciation from all efforts that is being that is take, taking place now 
So in this light, when you see, understand, then it makes it uh, meaningful and it may, then you will understand. Otherwise, we are still in the same. Uh, but what about uh, good deeds and bad deeds or what about my parents or what about the world? What about... Uh, we, are, we are in Moksha Sanyas chapter. The, the, expect, the, the teacher has systematically brought you to this point. Now, if you are not there, it's not his fault. <laughs> it's not Krishna's fault. He has brought you there. You are appreciating, you are nodding, you are understanding also. Then what, where are we lacking? Focus on the highest. Focus. We are not focused. That is where we are lacking. We have to focus. Dharana, Dhyan, Samadhi. We have to focus. If that, that is not possible just by wishing. It's not going to be possible by uh, someone touching your head. It's not. Someone just told me, Swamiji, you have to come to my house. I said, why? What happened? No, since my daughter has passed away, my mind is going. I want you to put your hand on my head. Manika, what will happen? She says, I will feel good. I said, what will happen to me? She said, I don't know. I said, I'll get oil on my hand. <laughs> and for that she wants me to come. I have to go. But what? That is their faith. That is their faith. See? And you, can't, you, don't, you, you we must not break someone's faith. But we must be clear. Because someone is having that faith, we don't climb a pole and sit on top of it. Yeah, man. <laughs> be very clear that you are nobody. So in this manner, understand correctly, our focus should, only when our mind is focused, then and then alone we are able to be successful. That is your, in your daily life also, that is the norm. When you are focused, you will be successful only when you are not distracted from your focus. Correct? Mm -hmm. So, when it comes to being the pure consciousness, do we what you just said, mm -hmm. do we practice that? Not to be distracted by anything in this world or anything in our mind. When I say world, understand, body, breath, mind, intellect is the part of the world. Do we remain undisturbed by the world? If we are, fantastic. Practice again and again, again and again, again and again. Huh. Huh. With the knowledge, then all ignorance disappears. Why? Because you are of the, of, of the nature of knowledge. You are the knowledge incarnate. You are Sakshat Nyam. When we say reality is Sat Chit Ananda, Chit means knowledge. So before knowledge was in the mind and how was it in the mind? I am Brahman, I am the reality. This conviction was there. But without direct experience. Conviction was there, you are not even uh, uh, trying to sort anything out. You know you are the reality. Completely the intellect is convinced. But merging has not taken place, absorption has not taken place, abidance, which is always, but it has not revealed itself to you. See? So, that, that ignorance of not knowing the self, 
ignorance was expressing as knowing the self through the thought aham brahmasmi <laughs> right so that ignorance also disappears in the abidance you cannot remain a husband and be a man if the husband wants to come back to being the man the husband hood has to vanish from the from the mind that role has to lose its impact on the man only then man will express so aham brahmasmi i am infinite reality i am individual wanting to be the infinite this yes you have purified you have come you understand you convinced but even that little bit which is left over ignorance that also merges once the final absorption takes place and that absorption is not like absorption in the sleep but it is absorption into the consciousness by uh, i can't even use into by this that nothing you just are it's not that you go and merge into it does a wave merge into the water no wave is already the water the phenomena vanishes that's all so what was the phenomena the thought aham brahmasmi was the phenomena that thought that phenomena just like the world left your mind even this thought aham brahmasmi will leave your mind and as you are coming close to it many times you will sleep <laughs> keep waking up that's why practice is required so that you don't fall into sleep you don't instead you continue to remain awake even when the mind has gone to sleep mind going to sleep means what mind becoming zero of all thoughts isn't it so when we give you this exercise before going to sleep and after waking up from sleep be remain awake you know what the problem is if i do that exercise before i go to sleep then i will not be able to work tomorrow man hijacked mm-hmm. you know, tomorrow has hijacked tomorrow has hijacked you have cre- already sabotaged the possibility of your infinitude by giving validity to that which has not even happened which is tomorrow see and we keep doing that we keep doing that you have to find a new that if and why there is tomorrow because you are not accepted that you are all inclusive <laughs> see yes many times you will fall get up in expand expand where, where is the shortcoming i am saying am brahmasmi but then i am afraid i am thinking about tomorrow's job i have to get to work i will not be able to perform where is this thought coming from it is coming from some conviction what is that conviction which is keeping me harnessed to the world harnessed in ignorance sort it out come to the correct understanding be convinced of it and continue chanting am brahma come come to that am brahmas or chant om continuing uh, where are we ha huh. at the time of deluge all distinctions of sea river etc vanish and the whole world is covered with water deluge pralaya see what happened in northern new south wales just now you must have seen it in the news huge track from as far as you can see it's only water my god see now where is hey this is my boundary that is your boundary 
why did you put the fence on this side of the boundary it should be on that side of the boundary where so water took away everything my room your room gone my plate your plate gone everything becomes one in the deluge isn't it where else is the deluge taking place every night when we go to sleep deluge is taking place isn't it everything becomes zero that is deluge no differences no sense of otherness utter ignorance same way here he says at the time of deluge all distinctions of sea river etc vanish so in other words there is there are ponds there are rivers there are wells Huh? All these different uh, bodies of water. When there is a deluge, nothing there. Creeks, streams, all these different names, but nothing there. Only water, water, water everywhere. The whole world is covered with water. When the limiting conditions, such as the earthen pot or the hermitage, disappears, only the sky remains. or when the firewood is burnt then only fire remains meaning here he says when the limiting conditions what are the limiting conditions space time and objectivity these are the uh, conditionings so here he used the word akasha akasha is space space the typical the terminology used in the scriptures is ghatakash mathakash so ghatakash pot space mathakash hermitage space so every pot has a space but when the pot is broken where is the space gone does the space have to merge somewhere <coughs> when the hermitage is broken does the space of the hermitage has to merge somewhere no it's already that exactly the same way when the limiting conditions such as the earthen pot or the hermitage disappears only the space remains or only the space remains so no individual pot space no individual hermitage or uh, so in our culture in hindu in hindu way when a person dies then when the person is, is about to be cremated they take the pot of water and they go around the dead body and they drop the pot pot ghata that pot represents and as you are going around the water inside the pot is falling <laughs> and when you complete oh, you just tilt it over and it breaks that is that is the representation of what has happened to this body it's going to happen to us this body also <laughs> that is to remind you not to the dead person to remind the living people that this is what is going to happen to you also and the space in the pot and this outside space is one the consciousness in this pot called the body and the total infinite not total infinite consciousness is one just as the water in the wave and the infinite water is one just as the gold in an individual ornament and the total co- infinite gold or total gold is one in that example and here the example also is taken of the firewood that once the fire the the and the sky remains or when the firewood is burnt then only the fire remains then what happens to the wood ash wood is no more only fire so what is the wood here in us the body is the wood samit pani hi shrotri brahma nishtham ha so how do we approach the teacher by taking dry twigs on our head and then we go and study with the teacher what is that dry twig that i have become i have got no 
uh, attachment to the world anymore. I don't have attachment to past or future. I don't have attachment to this body mind. I don't have attachment to positions or relations. I'm completely without any moisture. I just want the spark from you and I'm on fire. <laughs> that is the, uh, the, the, uh, that is the symbology or uh, uh, simi huh? inner, meaning. In inner meaning of that Samitpani Brahm, Shotriya Brahmanism. So with, like that you appear. So like that we come to the satsang. Every satsang. Like that we approach our seat of meditation every day. Not once when I meet. No, every day. Because that guru is inside. The Sadguru is within. Appearing as one teacher. Appearing as Bhagavad Gita. Appearing as scriptures. Appearing as God. He takes. He is, he is playing with himself. At relative level, he is playing with himself. At absolute level, he is all that there is. See? So, when the ornaments are melted in a crucible with heat, they lose their name and form and only gold remains. Okay, here he is taken when they are melted. So, what has melted here? The mind has melted. Your ego has the crystallized ego. What was the crystallization? Doership and enjoyership. Karta and Bhokta was because that of that role that I am the doer, I am the enjoyer of all, all that I do, all that I achieve, etc. etc. That has crystallized you into a personality. So and oh look at what a sattvic person. Oh look at it, what a crook. Oh look at that, what a Jealous person. These are all the ornaments are saying, I am only adorning the neck. What neck? You are nothing. I am on the head of, of this person. My place is on the head. The diamond says, what di head? What crown? So he says to the, I am on top of you, on the tip. But once they melt the crown, the uh, uh, the anklet, the bangles, the, uh, the the necklace, all it is nothing but gold. So where is all this idea? I am the father. I am so many years old. I am the husband. I am this. I am that. I was born. I have my parents. Blah 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 blah. It goes on. There is no end to it. When we come closer to the knowledge of the self, Aham Brahmasmi or Om, all this, all the name and form, that's what thought is. Everything starts collapsing. You don't have to make it collapse. It will collapse by itself. All you have to take is do, do is take a upward flight <laughs> or take the inward flight. So like, like if you take a plane, you go up, all the differences on the ground, they melt into each other, isn't it? When we take the inward flight, meaning become focused. All the, uh, all the ornaments which we have, uh, what are the ornaments? All thoughts in the mind. All the positions, uh, personalities, roles desires, aspirations, etc. Everything melts into one. Good and bad. Good and bad. Everything melts. This is the principle this is how our mind functions. So make it work that way. Make it focused. That's all we have to do. When the ornaments are melted in a crucible with heat, they lose their name and form and only gold remains. When a person wakes up, the dream vanishes and the only dream and only the dreamer remains. How can a dreamer remain? Dreamer also vanishes. Then who remains? 
now dreamer as waker remains <laughs> not dreamer remains something wrong here Hey. Maybe the body remains, but the mind disappears. When? To decide it. No, you're you're waking up. You're waking up from sleep, from dream. You're waking up. So this morning, before waking up, maybe at night you had a dream. So when you wake up, is the dreamer waking up? Yes, you can say the dreamer is waking up. but once he wakes up he is no longer a dreamer he is a waker so once you the waker has woken up who wants to wake up the waker wants to wake up that waker has taken a role he has given up all other roles he has taken the role of seeker so the waker wants to wake up until unless he doesn't become focused on what he wants to wake up to <laughs> what do you want to wake up to not something in this world i want to wake up to myself the waker is saying what is myself ah, all i'm not going to go into that the pure consciousness that i am yeah, so that's the same thing what i'm saying is the body woke up and the mind is detached so mind is not there so the body left and body is functioning itself without correct the- correct 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 but we are not at the body level now Yeah, so point. so from the dream body yeah. there was a body in the dream yeah in that body the dreamer was dreaming the dream world the body was sleeping the body no no was no no the mind the mind kept dreaming no no you are you are still thinking it as a memory get into the dream in the dream you had a dream body you ah, you yeah. were the dreamer Yeah. while you were dreaming yeah. you woke up yeah. the body was left you don't carry the dream body yeah. Yeah. into the waking yeah. cannot yeah. so yeah. neither the dreamer came into the waking nor the dream body came into the waking then what came nothing came only the role changed so when a husband becomes a brother nothing changed only the role changed <laughs> now from the waking experience we want to wake up when we wake up will we take the body with us if you could not bring the dream body into the waking experience now you want to be the infinite experience <laughs> can you take the body there no no you cannot but other people in the world will see your body but the person that point will come in our next verse now good point very pertinent also see so we don't so from abidance in the self as the brahma bhut prasanna atma what is his view towards everything his view is he sees everything he he sees everything as the expression of the self first part no it's not complete he sees the entire because eyes are there body is there he sees the whole entire creation as an expression of the self at the same time he has complete Uh, detachment from everything <laughs> now try to mix the two <laughs> two things have to happen he is completely renounce the world detached from the world gives no value to the world yet the entire world is his he alone is expressing mm-hmm. so basically it is in the never mind anymore it's only the body function that's what i was saying No, no, no. Body is also mind only, yar. Where mm-hmm. you are going no, into body and mind? No, 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 no. Body and mind are two different things. But we think it's mm-hmm. one. The body thinks it can't function without the mind, but that's not the reality. Body it's cannot body think. Can... I'm sorry. Body cannot think. No, body can work. Body, body can work. It's a physiological function. It cannot think. Yes, it doesn't have to think. 
the body can keep the things in its memory somehow. Yes, just like continue. mind cannot function without the brain. Yeah. Without the brain, mind cannot function. Mm -hmm. Liver cannot function without the liver cells. Mm -hmm. Legs cannot function without the cells present and the bones present in the leg. Mm -hmm. Where are we going with this discussion? We are talking about infinite reality. Body is not the reality. Mind is not the reality. We are in this 18th chapter, we are talking about the disposition of the person who has come to know the self. What is your real? What is your disposition with regards to the dream body and the dreamer? Eh, figment of a man. Ek sapna tha. It was just an imagination. It was just an imagination. Where did that imagination come from? Oh, mind only projected that imagination, mind only absorbed that imagination back into itself. Phenomena of the mind. This is your this is your take of your dream. If it is not, then understand it this way. It is it is uh, uh, it is healthy to think this way. Then when you wake up from the waking dream, this is our waking dream. We wake up from this waking dream. Once we have woken up from this dream, when we look look back, what do we look back? Nothing. <laughs> what I explained before. Everything is an expression of the mind. The mind, which is nothing but pure consciousness. It is the self alone, but no attachment. Just like you don't have any attachment to any aspect of yourself in the dream, you will have no attachment to any aspect of uh, yours in the waking. Then what will be functioning here? Whatever for you, what is the value of this for the realized master? What is the value of this body? What is the value of this body? The same as you have the value for your dream body, zero. But one, on one hand, we are saying it is zero, which is no value. But at the same time, what was your direct experience? I am all that there is. <laughs> infinite love, infinite expect, acceptance. But in that acceptance, Sir, sama sarveshu bhuteshu. Understand the impact of these words. Sama sarveshu bhuteshu. This body or this body or that body or animal or ant or this or whatever. Your attitude towards it is same. And what? How do you come to that? How do you come to that equanimity? Doesn't it dissolve your identity? That, that we have already done because we have woken up. <laughs> we have already woken up. So we are talking about Samas Sarveshu Bhuteshu. So what is your disposition? Your disposition is that of equanimity. Equanimity means no value to anything. Everything is the self alone. So neither I desire this nor do I not desire this. Na shochati na kangshati. So I am not. World is what? World is where there is continuous desire and there is continuous worry. Na shochati. I am contemplating. I am thinking. I am. Na kangshati. Whatever I think, I desire. Now there is nothing to. How can you. If I am everything, then what will I think? You cannot think of yourself. You already are. To, for thinking, duality is required. But this person who has come to, who has wake up, woken up from the wake, waking dream, he's, the moment he wakes up, he is everything. See? He is everything. So he cannot desire anything. He cannot think anything. In other words, or think or desire. Na shochati na kangshati. Samas sarveshu bhuteshu. What else was there? Ah, 
that is the last word so when a person wakes up the dream vanishes and only the dreamer remains something wrong there no dreamer is there so my uh, 111th verse tai si mi ek vaatsu ni kahi ha taya taya hi sakat nahi he chauthi bhakti pahi maji tola he ye ra ar tu jignyasu artharthi हे भजती जिये पंथी ते तीन ही पावो नी चौथी महणीपत आहे येरवी तिजी ना चौथी ते हे पा हे पहिली ना सरती पय माझी ये सहज स्थिती भक्ती नाम जे ने नणे माझे प्रकाशुनी अन्यथा त्वे माते दाऊनी सर्व ही सर्वी भजवनी बुझावी तसी जे अबुझावी तसे जे जो जे थ जैसे पाहो बैसे तया ते थ तैसे ची असे हे उजी एडे का दिसे अखंडे जेणे हि सेज सो माय devotee does not see anything except myself in this chapter he is not taking krishna is when he says myself he is taking himself to be the supreme reality the infinite absolute consciousness which is formless and attributeless the parabrahma parmatma so when he says here that so my devotee who was the devotee who was saying aham brahmasmi aham brahmasmi i am that i am that i am that infinite reality why because he wanted to be one with that reality and the the correction there was that he had to be subjective once he became subjective here krishna says so my devotee does not see anything except myself so in the previous verses have happened he has merged there is no distance between him and the seeker and the sort it's become one the the seeker consciousness and the infinite consciousness have become one then he says he does not see anything except the infinite consciousness if i take this out what do i see <laughs> i can't see i can't i have blur blur but when i see i see clearly so now we have before we were seeing differences see totally opposite here i am seeing if i put the corrective glasses i see differences clearly when i remove the glasses everything is merging <laughs> but here ha ah, but here the corrective glasses are the desire to be the self be the infinite self then what happens as a when you put on the glasses of the focus of aham brahmasmi then what happens all multiplicity disappears so here he says now once he has merged what does he see everywhere he sees only me sama sarveshu bhuteshu he sees everywhere he sees equan equanimously in equanimity there are two ways you can put it for equanimity you have to be available to yourself if i if i if my vision has to be equanimous that i must not give difference to give value to everything that this vision is illuminating it's illuminating you you him her everyone okay so yes i am not my vision is not giving value i'm just talking from vision point of view it is not giving value but it is still giving value to form this is one 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 form then how do i stop the vision to be hijacked by the form i have to come to the source of the vision right now the vision is is outwards now i have to come to the source so the moment i shift my attention of my vision 
from going outwards to itself, I am equanimous because all of them will merge into zero. Try. Try looking at your own eyes. All the forms, they melt into each other. In other words, you are equanimous to everyone. Because if differences are there, you are bound to get attracted or distracted by something. We are not saying that they are not there. I'm, it's just a very gross example, but I'm trying to show what equanimity is. <coughs> but if it's all me, hmm. yeah, then, 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 then it, 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 it can be as varied and, and, That's and exactly, as, as I, colorful as it yes, likes. Yes, I'm coming to that next. That is the next. This is the first one, first one way of looking at it. Just, but but in this, all inclusivity is not there. Here it was from neti neti. I am not this. I am not this. From that point, I was taking it. I came to the equanimous vision. But here, what is given is he has merged into the infinite consciousness, like the gopis merged into Krishna consciousness. Wherever they looked, they saw Krishna. Wherever they looked, they saw Krishna. How did they see Krishna? Did they discover Krishna in every tree, every leaf, every animal? No. First, they gave themselves to the Krishna in their heart. You have given yourself in your heart to your wife, to your parents, to your children. So, your vision is totally hijacked by them. So when we have given ourselves to the pure consciousness, to the Lord, if we want to say the Lord, those saints and sages, Namdev, Eknath, etc., etc., uh, Gondal Lekar Maharaj, uh, our Ramakrishna Paramahans, uh, he was the Kali Bhakta. So he gave himself completely to Kali. She was seated in his heart and mind and wherever he would see, he will see Kali. <laughs> she will present herself. All, all his activities, all his thoughts were only about Kali. Just as yours, you have given yourself to your family, you have given yourself to your job, I have given myself to the uh, conducting the satsang. So, thoughts are automatic. That is what's the motivating force, that is what is, how the mind and uh, uh, the vision is from satsang point of view. All examples that come, every sentence that comes here, it's always it turns into a contemplation. You understand? And that happens not only in Satsang, but that happens even if I go for lunch with him. There also is the same thing. Everywhere we are able to oh, see the principles functioning because we have given our heart and mind to this principle. So when we have given ourselves to the pure infinite consciousness, then what do we see everywhere? Only infinite consciousness. Do we say that I am this body? No. This body is just another body. Is just another expression of the consciousness. See, these things, this, this is where our intellect gives up. We say Sahasra Shirsha Purusha Sahasra Aksha Sahasra Path that the self is uh, uh, expressing behind all eyes, behind all heads. It's like the electricity is expressing through all the bulbs, but is not all the bulbs. A limited example. Electricity is without form and without any uh, without any form, but it is illuminating all forms. <laughs> it is, and oh, when does it illuminate all forms? Only when it expresses through forms. Right? Electricity itself has got no form. 
exactly the same way. The consciousness has got no form. That now I have access that. Now that pure consciousness is expressing as the total consciousness or the individual consciousness. This is just a theory, huh? This is not from absolute point. Nothing of this sort is taking place. This lecture is not being given to the pure infinite consciousness. This lecture or this Bhagavad Gita is given to the seeker who feels he is ignorant. He wants to understand what is the various steps. So we are saying the total and the individual. So we are giving you these examples. All this becomes null and void once you are the infinite consciousness. The, the hub in the wheel, it's supporting the entire wheel. It allows the wheel to go around, but itself doesn't go around anywhere. <laughs> exactly like that. But what is the hub made up of? Steel. What are the spokes made up of? Steel. What is the rim made up of? Steel. Everything else is going around, but the axle it's not going around anywhere. Same way. Who is this equanimous? Who is this Krishna? Here when he says, what is this pure consciousness which does not move, which does not change, which does not come and go. That, all that comes in the, not next verse, but the verse after. That is that consciousness. From there, he says that, so my devotee does not see anything except myself. And it's time. We'll start again from 111. 1111. Okay. Next class. Om Purnamada Purnamedam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Shri Gurubhyo Namah Hari Om